Uh, a German uh, psychologist uh, named Hermann Ebbinghaus, who, uh, who did a lot of studies on, on people's memories. And um, yeah, he, he did just the, the, the thing that you, you would do if you wanted to, to study someone's long-term memory. He, he taught a group of people uh, some things, and then he, he tested how much of that that they remembered after a certain period of time. And then he compared different groups in different periods of time. Uh, so, um, uh, yeah, and he, that concluded in this graph, which is uh, called the forgetting curve, uh, a very important curve. Uh, on this uh, vertical axis, we have uh, the person percentage of uh, the things that you memorized from the beginning that you still remember. And on this um, uh, horizontal axis, you have the, the time that has passed since you memorized things. So, uh, if, we, if we imagine just like a normal uh, student setting, like a normal lecture, you're sitting in a lecture, you're memorizing things, you're taking notes, you're quite interested, uh, trying to learn things, uh, and then directly afterwards, you, you may of course be uh, somewhere up here, uh, around 100%, and then it starts to, to go down gradually, uh, and after say three, four days, um, what percentage do you think we will be on uh, after three, four days usually, like average? 50? Yeah, another idea? 70? 30? Yeah? Yeah, that's some good guesses. Uh, the actual findings uh, in this experiment uh, is that after three, three to four days, uh, the average uh, percentage that we still remember is about uh, 5 to 10 uh, percent. <laughs> so, yeah, it goes down really, really quickly. It doesn't look good at all. Uh, <laughs> And this is, yeah, so this is like the, the, the usual case. If you learn something and then, then don't repeat it, but just yeah, don't think about it, then, then it will go down this uh, quickly and then uh, it will stay here at about maybe 2 3% that you will have with you for the rest of your life. Uh, but you obviously lose a lot, a lot along the way. Uh, so this is, this is also the case if you, um, if you study uh, as you might normally study, uh, at least we do it in Sweden, like you, you save all the work until the, the evening before the exam and then you're reading whatever you have to memorize like seven times, uh, then of course it might uh, be a little bit flatter here in the beginning. Uh, you might even uh, be able to, to get a really good grade at the exam and then get a lot of answers correct. Uh, but then it will go down and stay yeah, approximately at, at the same level. So if someone would, would give you the same exam after some weeks, you would probably perform much worse than the first time. Uh, and I'm sure that you also have felt this, like, like you're, a lot of time you're, you're putting it in there for the exam and then it goes away and then you have to, to get it in there again next time you want to, to memorize it. Uh, but if you, instead of, of taking these, these seven repetitions uh, on the night before the exam, just uh, listen carefully at the, uh, to the lecture, lecture uh, and then just once after some hours after the, the exam uh, or after the lecture and uh, maybe later the same day, just quickly go through your, your notes or go through your images in your head, just repeat what you learned quickly, then you will of course jump up again and then it will go down a little slower and stay a little higher. So with this one extra repetition, you might actually uh, twice the amount of information that you, that you, might, that you would have <coughs> left from the beginning. And if you then do the same thing the day after, just quickly again go through your notes, so just think about what you learned, uh, then you'll go up again and then go down a little bit less steep and uh, end up even higher. So this, this, it's still not high, but it might be five times as much as, as without the repetitions. And then if you do the same thing after some days, uh, after some week, after some month, you'll actually end up flattening out almost here at, at 100%, or very high at least. Uh, so that means that if you, if you take these, these seven read-throughs and instead of, of placing them all at the same time, like before the, the exam, you just yeah, put them, distribute them over a longer time interval and have longer and longer time in, in between the repetitions, you'll go uh, from here up to here, uh, which is quite a significant uh, difference. Uh, and yeah, with, with the same effort and the same amount of time.